guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Sabira and Sabira's going to introduce herself on what she does. Hi, so yeah, I'm Sabira and I create content basically. I've created some lifestyle wellness content and I've also created some like gaming content as well that yeah. I've started recently. Yeah, I love Sabira's content and you should definitely check her out. I'll link below her, her socials and everything. Um, so today we're going to be doing a video on self-care tips and like what we do ourselves. And hopefully it can help some of you and you can incorporate into your daily life. If, but yeah, let's get started. We've got a few questions that we're going to be answering to make it easier instead of like just talking at the camera so we can keep it short. The first question is, what is a must to keep you focused? So, how do I keep myself focused? I think for me, I have to have a bit of a routine, which I'm not always good at sticking to and I don't always have a routine. But like in order to stay focused, it does help to have a routine. Just like knowing what my day's gonna look like, knowing what I have to do in my day in order to keep myself up to like schedule almost. Mm -hmm. But then just like staying focused on the things I have to do. Sometimes it's hard to do. Yeah. But then yeah, I think staying focused for me, I just have to have a road a routine and like I have to have it like written down, I have to physically see it. Because if it's just in my head like, oh today I'm gonna wake up and do this and do that, I can talk myself that I'm doing it. Yeah. And I can literally just like not do anything. <laughs> yeah, like I have to hold myself accountable literally, to do yeah. something, otherwise I won't do you it. Won't, yeah, I won't. And if I put it off one day, I'll be like, okay, you definitely have to do it on this day, this is your deadline. Mm. And then I'm like, okay, now I can do it. Mm. Um, but yeah. my answer is to keep focus is um, getting enough sleep. Because if I don't get enough sleep, I get very emotional and then I'm just all over the place as well. Like. I won't focus well, I'm all over the place, I can't do my job properly and like when I'm emotional I get really emotional, like I just start crying at random things when I'm tired. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's one of my must to keep focus and Sabiris was a routine. Yeah. Which I definitely agree with. Definitely important as well. Definitely. <laughs> do you have a self care routine? And if so, what is it? So I feel like I don't have much of a self care routine right now. But if I do feel like there's a day where I'm like, I really need some like me time or I really just need something for myself, sometimes I'm like, okay, I'll go and get my favourite snacks or I'll have like my favourite tea and I'll put like a face mask on and I'll just have some time to just like chill out and focus on me and my needs, like listen to my favourite music. And I think for me when it comes to just like having a self-care routine, I try to like focus on what my needs are. Like what is it that I really need right now? What is it like something that can be like really beneficial to me right in this moment? Like what is it that I need? Sometimes it's hard, like sometimes you know your basic needs, sleep, food, you know, things like that. But there's other times where you think, what do I generally need? Do you need to talk to someone? Do you need time alone? All that kind of stuff. So that kind of helps work into my self-care routine. Like I try to focus on what do I need and then I try and do that. If I just need some time where I'm actually focused on myself and not everything else or anyone else, then some time to just like do things you've probably been putting off like I have a bunch of face masks that I just don't use and I'm like okay I should use one or like yeah. so just chill and like do something that I want to do try not to feel guilty for like spending time doing things that you just enjoy doing as opposed to like always trying to find something productive to do and things like that so yeah just focusing on my needs is what helps me kind of create that self-care routine yeah I could have put it better myself mm -hmm. I was gonna say I don't have a self-care routine <laughs> but now that you've like talked about it I feel like I do have a little bit of one yeah my one is probably like um, just getting myself out of my comfort zone to do mm. stuff. So like I've started a course on Saturdays, that um, and it's to do with photography, which is like a hobby of mine because I like taking pictures and um, just getting like nice like aesthetics and stuff. So um, yeah, that so it's like mine's probably like to do a hobby and then. Uh, to like treat myself as well but the thing about treating myself <laughs> is I eat to, I comfort eat sometimes I have yeah. to have, draw a line between comfort eating and treating myself mm. if I'm going to treat myself I don't carry on indulging in that too much because that's also like not good so mm. yeah treating myself and having a hobby mm -hmm. I can relate to that the next question is do you think it's important to have a hobby yeah I think it's very important to have a hobby I think life is stressful enough and like yeah. hard and there's so much going on I think you don't have something for yourself that you just enjoy it doesn't have to be something that you have to do for work it doesn't have to be anything related to like a lot of labour it can be something that you do and you think this is so easy like I think those are good to have because when everything else is going on and everything else is kind of crazy you need something for you that's like fun you don't have to think too much or stress too much or like even when you're thinking about it you're excited to think about it you're excited to research or to get to know more I think it's important to have a hobby and I think 
Like, even if you're thinking, what is my hobby? Like, what did you do when you was younger? It could have been something simple, like your family forced you to do puzzles. And like, you was like, oh, family day, we'll do puzzles. And you're just like over it. But like, did you enjoy the puzzles? And maybe puzzles yeah. are something you can do, but you prefer to do it by yourself. So just little things that you could think about. Like, what did I do that I might not have enjoyed, but like, was there elements that you did enjoy? Is it a matter of like, maybe it was the people, or maybe it was like, what the activity was itself, but like, you might enjoy it with someone else. So, you yeah, know, it's more of a hobby. I think for me, I've enjoyed yeah. gaming recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I definitely think it's important to ha- have a hobby as well. Um, I used to like doing my YouTube channel back in the day, and then I started studying media. And then I kind of fed off of my um, channel because I was doing it all like it, was, it felt like work and a hobby, and I just didn't I didn't have like a space where I wasn't editing or wasn't filming, so I got a bit I didn't get bored, but it's like it felt like more of a chore. Mm-hmm. So now that I don't do media as like study or anything, and I'm just doing it as a hobby, I f- it feels better. Mm-hmm. So like it's I feel like it's good to have. Yeah, like you said, like not to split up work and a hobby. It doesn't have to be the same thing. And yeah, um, another thing I like doing is, I haven't done it in ages, but I like colouring to relax mm, me. Same, same. So yeah. I haven't done it in so long. <laughs> yeah, question <laughs> is, do you have any tips that, for people that are struggling with self-care? And me and Sabir have found it a bit hard to answer this question because we've been given tips throughout the video. Mm. But we found, like we figured out something that... Yeah, we wanted to share. Mm, yeah, I think we probably relate as well. Like it was something that we have in common in the sense of what like, the tip that we had was like you have to kind of make time for self care. I think we live like some people live really busy lives. Some people have more time than others or whatever. But I think it's important to like set aside time for that specific thing because you might just be like, oh, I can do this any time, whatever, any day. But if you don't set the time, it might not happen. Or you have to kind of create something that's for you and that time for yourself. And I think having time that you just say I'm specifically doing this really helps actually get the self care done or like doing yeah. what you need to do to like look after yourself. Yeah, yeah definitely. I agree. Um there was a point in my life where I was like I don't have time to do anything else but study or look for work mm-hmm. or do something productive. Mm-hmm. And I didn't feel like looking after myself was productive. So when I wasn't doing that I was all over the place and I was like not in the best place I could be mm-hmm. so when I started taking time out for myself and doing things that I enjoy like it could be as simple as like cooking because I love cooking or um I don't know like listen like listen to music so um when you do that like it's just it makes it 10 times easier to look after yourself mm-hmm. so yeah that's the end of the video thank you for listening guys I will link Sabira's links um, down below. She has a YouTube channel on um, self-care and wellness as well. And she also does stream. And if you want to check that out, she's so funny on Twitch. She <laughs> does you. stuff on like Sims and stuff that I tune into sometimes. <laughs> so if you're interested in Sims, why not check it out? And I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.